Good morning, everybody. Hmm. Morning, morning. Need some caffeine today. I am so tired. How's work? I was on call last night, so I got called in a couple times. Don't fall like a sleep in the middle of this. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Chloe. I woke up at like 5 15, 5 30 yesterday, and I did not get to bed until almost midnight. First day back after having five days off, I got to SADS. Yeah, I would too. We're going to be comfy today. <sighs> Sylvana's here. See Lily, thank you for the follow. Man, I was at 19.7 the other day. I've lost a couple followers. Oops. Don't get changed. Wait for Silvana to leave. Oh, goodness. No, I don't use the wand to make outfits. I base my outfits on how I feel that day. So... I don't like having clothes tied up on the wand. All right. Good morning. There's a bunch of different wands that you can get DIYs for different themed wands and things. So, I only played like three rounds of the bug off. There's no way I scored 200 points. I want to be home playing Animal Crossing right now. I feel that. Maybe at previous points. I didn't think they accumulated, but I guess I was wrong. Let's see what we got. Good morning, Becca. How are you? Okay. Y'all 
fall. September 1st marks the start of fall in Animal Crossing, the Northern Hemisphere. I'm so excited. We're gonna have the red leaf trees, the maple leaves falling, all the good stuff. It's Tuesday, at least not Monday. Uh, my Monday generally wasn't bad until it was time for me to go home and right before I left, there was a patient in the ER I had to deal with and then I got called back in like two hours later and I had to do two MRIs. This takes forever and it was a long day yesterday. Finally got a 10,000 bell tree. Good morning, how are you, Liz? You're staying at home? You've been trying to find spooky DIYs and not successful. It's not spooky DIY season yet, that's why. <laughs> My poor Sim. We ended up having- we ended up not saving and bringing her back. But I had to redo a lot of stuff I had already done because I didn't save as I went. I know, I wanted to play The Sims last night, but, like, as I was leaving work yesterday after I dealt with one patient, the ER was like, hey, there's another patient on their way, they're coming from the doctor's office, and um, I was like, do we have an ETA on them? And they were like, no, and I said, okay, well then y'all can just call me when they get here. So it is 7.15 for me as well. And then, then I didn't get called till like 8.30. Okay. Shake some trees. Becca, thank you for the donut. Go. Let's just knock all the wasps out from the get go. Oh my god, we did get some rain. Like two nights ago, it rained. And it had not rained in literally six weeks. And we've had nothing but like triple digit temperatures or really close to triple digits. And it was. Beautiful. Wow, money rock first off. 
Yeah, I was sitting on the couch and I was like, what is that sound? And I was like, is it raining? And my husband kind of peeked out the blinds and he's like, no, I think it's just windy. And a little while later, I was like, no, I think it's raining. And we went outside and stood on the porch and got pelted with rain. And I turned to him and had my arms wide open and I said, I hate summer so much. <laughs> oh, God, I hate summer. Oh my God, with sprinkles and gels, I've got a sun for hundred this week. Yeah, same. I went and put all my plants like out in the yard so they could get some rain. Crickets are starting to come out, so the cool weather is coming. Oh, it made me feel like fall is actually going to happen. Oh, my girlfriends and I was so excited. It's so nice. I love the rain. And it was raining as I went to sleep, but I was like, oh, this is just heaven. I only have two weeks of summer heat. Yeah, but y'all have snow up there. Like, real snow. I could never live in... As much as I hate the heat, I could never live in snow. Put on a sweatshirt when I walked out the door this morning. Getting ready for a hurricane where I'm at. Oh, man. Yeah, I know Florida's getting ready to get hit with one. I hope you're safe. Yeah. Good morning, I'm playing too. Good morning. Yes, all my Floridian friends, y'all stay safe. I know it's coming up that way. I'd kind of wish it had took a turn and hit the Texas coast, because then it pushes rain out my way. I'm too far inland for a hurricane to be, like, devastating. We really only get the benefits up here. Um, Carlos is my favorite villager. And my two categories. Oh, two category. I was like, cat birthdays. Two category three and four on my birthday. It's just, oh my gosh. Having a good week so far? Eh. I was on call last night, and I actually got called in, like, multiple times, so... I would say it's been okay. <sighs> Good morning. What do we keep in? There's one. Okay, so we have one wasp left to find. And there's only four here. We got veggies. Yeah, I haven't played since Saturday, so I figured we'd have some cleanup to do. Did y'all participate in the bug off on Saturday? There's only one more left for this year. Good morning. Made banking at the island upgrades that he did. Nice. Shaking all my trees all the time and having a hard time to find the wasps. So the trick is to have like 17 of the cedar or hardwood trees because that's like the magic number. That'll give you your five wasps, your two furniture items, and your ten that, like coins that fall out of it. And um, I like to know exactly where mine are. So if you'll notice, like I have my cedar and hardwood trees kind of grouped together because that way I know like these are gonna be my wasp trees the lava is almost loving almost 
My daughter said she caught 13. I've caught 15. That's like my highest round is 15. Um, the activities in winter for the game? Off the top of my head, other than making perfect snowboys, I don't really know. Next month, not September, but October, is the fall fishing tournament. Yeah, some yeah, grouping the trees is smart. I spawn ants with tulips averaging eight to ten bugs. Smart. Yeah, not I think I guess it was last month when I played the bug off. I went and shook all of my trees, and so I got five wasps in one round in addition to everything else that I caught, and I that's how I got my fifteen. Fall is so soon, y'all. September 1st is when fall starts, and then we'll have acorns and pine cones. And then November is the month for mushrooms. So there's different seasonal stuff coming in. I've got the monthly birthdays that are going to post here in a couple days. And then on the 1st, the critter videos will come out for both hemispheres as well. Yeah, you gotta make sure you play during November because that's the only month mushrooms are available in the Northern Hemisphere. It's only one month out of the whole year. It's like young spring bamboo, how it's only available for like five weeks or something. That's a, that's a short window as well. Cherry blossoms, I think, are only available for like ten days. I do not time travel. mushrooms year-round. They should do seasonal mushrooms like they do seasonal critters. The mushroom stuff is very cute. Spring and summer since I got the game in May. Yeah, it feels like the snow lasts forever in this game. Potatoes are available year-round. All the fruits and all the vegetables, if you plant them, are year-round. let your villagers leave or you keep them forever? It depends on the villagers. Some of them are not allowed to leave. I'm sorry. Use time zones to fluctuate. Interesting. Pink alligator. I've been looking for it since 2020. You should look into getting some amiibos. I've had both Fauna and Zucker, and I kicked them both off. <laughs> yeah, I have amiibo cards that I use. That way I can swap out who I want, or if I get bored with someone, I'll usually just like randomly draw one out of there and bring them to the island. Ugh, pumpkin flavored coffee. I'll tell you, Kick Zucker, he's so sweet. I know. Um, Carlos is never allowed to leave. Lucky, Cherry. Honestly, like half my villagers. I love a lot of my villagers. We got Muffy, and she and Carlos are in a very serious relationship on this island, so... Mora, thank you for the hanging lights! Those are cool. Yeah, I'm not big on the pumpkin flavored stuff myself. I would like to eat pumpkin pie, but that's about the extent of it. And, uh... To each their own. But I also served under the siren for 13 years, and I did not enjoy getting screamed at about pumpkin spice. People are so dramatic. 
morning. It's really cool down here and I'm very happy. Oh man, that's so exciting. That's what she is. Everybody thinks she's a mermaid, but she's actually a two-tailed siren. Yeah. I got screamed out about a lot of stuff. Um... I will be trying Dutch's PSL because it's not just pumpkin, it's got other stuff in it. And also there's a sticker for it and I need the sticker in my app. Um, so there's that. <laughs> Dutch Bros knows how to get me to buy stuff. <laughs> Poppy Audi and stuff will never allowed to leave. Would have been a better siren. Season 7 of TVD. I remember specifically working drive through one morning when we had like pumpkin spice had gone out of season because pumpkin spice is a fall drink not a holiday drink there's a difference and um, they were like I'm a pumpkin spice latte and I was like You're, we're out of pumpkin spice it's done for the season and they literally were like no in the drive through and I was like whoa you need to <laughs> resort your priorities You're kidding! No, I do not find anything about this job hilarious. Peppermint mocha, <clears throat> while they feature it during the holidays, technically can be made year-round because they carry both peppermint and mocha year-round. They just don't carry the, like, chocolate curls that go on top. I used to make a latte that tasted like tiramisu and you needed like a pump of pumpkin spice to go in it. So that was about the only thing I needed pumpkin spice for. <laughs> People are nuts, man. Working in the public arena is um traumatizing <laughs> I was 16 yep let's make some money No couth. I love that. I missed some rocks. Like, I get that it's frustrating when you look forward to that one thing and then it's not there or it's not what you had in mind or whatever. Like, like okay, we went to Dutch Bros. I guess it was Saturday afternoon because it was dog day and you got a special sticker in your app if you went and bought a drink on International Dog Day or whatever. And so I went and got a soda and I knew it was wrong when they handed it to me. And I was like, that looks weird. And you know what? I drank it anyway and moved on with my life. It wasn't bad, it was just disappointing because it wasn't, like, I had a thing in mind. I was like, ah, oh, this is going to be so good. And it wasn't that thing, but it's okay. You know what? I survived. Karma Kills, thank you for the follow. Sad my dog didn't get a bandana. Oh, were they out of bandanas by the time you went? Starbucks is as close as I ever got to food service. Super long line and we got there right at three, yeah. I didn't even ask, we don't have a dog. So I was like, 
my husband was like, should we ask for a bandana? And I was like, we don't have a dog. And he's like, we can give it to, we have a friend that's got two dogs. And I was like, if you want, then ask for it. And he's like, no, you ask. And I was like, you're driving. I'm not going to lean over and be like, um, excuse me. Bless his heart. We moved along and drank our drinks. Exactly. I worked at Wendy's for five years as a teen. It was an experience. Ugh. I think that was one thing that was really difficult for me to adjust to is when I was going through x-ray school and when I first started working in x-ray, I was also still working at Starbucks. I was a shift supervisor for a long time and halfway through x-ray school I stepped down to just barista but I would go and work at these big hospitals and see real trauma that people were suffering and things you can't forget. And then I would go to Starbucks and people would be like, uh, is that my drink? I ordered Splenda, not Sweet and Low. <laughs> and I would be like, hey, I saw someone lose all their fingers today. Can you just take it down a notch? Wouldn't tell them that. But it was really hard for me to compartmentalize the two. And um, not be super, super bitter when I went and served coffee. Yeah, exactly. As long as it's not something I'm allergic to or genuinely, like, loathe to eat, I just will roll with it. <laughs> Can there are people die? Yes, exactly. Exactly. So it's, as an ICU nurse during the pandemic and I work from home, so you definitely know. You get it. Like, um... So it was really hard for a while to kind of keep my world separate. Good morning, Mario. I said that was my drink. Yeah, exactly. And they sit there and just watch you and it's, yeah. There she is. Hi, good morning. I'm here. Yeah, yesterday morning I went and worked out before work. And it was really nice. It was a much different experience than Saturday, so that was good. Oh, yeah, Mario, we're talking about the difference between, like, when I worked at Starbucks and people had such serious life-altering problems with their drinks. At the same time, I was working at a hospital where there were actually people with, like, life-altering problems and the juxtaposition and, and frustration I felt. Like, if your only problem is that I only put two pumps instead of three in your drink and you're gonna be mad about that, you're doing okay, I promise. <laughs> Mistakes happen, we're all human. You know. Where's that last wasp at? <laughs> I mean, I don't make mistakes, but no, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> um, that's a good question. How often do I go live? I try to go live in the mornings and play Animal Crossing regularly. My schedule is doing some weird things lately and kind of changing up, and it's going to be for the better but it won't be every weekday morning anymore like it used to be. If you join my Discord, I am trying to post weekly updates with my schedule since it is being so weird lately. So if you'd like notifications about when I go live or you want to kind of see a generalized schedule, then go check it out there. Remembering when I opened only twice and didn't put vanilla in a single caramel macchiato and people couldn't tell the difference, could they? Hmm. But that worked at BK since he was 16 and quickly was 48 the stories he had. I bet. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, that's the problem with like customer service or even working in the medical field, which is a just different type of customer service. You can't really say stuff like that to people you can say it to co-workers and help change their perspective but you can't say it to patients pumpkin chai that's a popular one 
It's not cold enough for me to enjoy the pumpkin-y things. Like, I need... I need it to be at least cool enough to, like, wear a light hoodie outside. And our highs are still in the 90s right now, so... Ugh. Like, I really want to make this soup that I love. It's just too dang hot to be eating soup. I've never seen the Spider-Verse movies. Who's crafting? Get rainy sand started. Yes. Would go for the pumpkin pie, pumpkin roll out of that. Oh, Coco's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe pumpkin has started at Starbucks. <laughs> so many former baristas in here. I'm glad we all share similar drama. <laughs> I mean, you can sit here and tell stories about the bad customers all day, but generally, I had a decent time working at Starbucks, or I wouldn't have worked there as long as I did. So, they afforded me many opportunities I wouldn't have had as an uneducated 20-year-old who didn't know what she wanted to do with her life, so... Alyssa Stonecipher, or Stonecipher, thank you for the follow. Working in a hospital for RT school and I feel the same way. Yeah, you get it. It's, it's a lot. Coworkers rather than customers, yeah. Like, it's fun to tell the stories about the Karens and the bad customers, but like, we had some truly wonderful human beings that would come, and like, there was one year for Christmas that they, like, Somebody brought everyone, I had asked our manager ahead of time for a list of our names and had brought everybody like individual Christmas cards and a box of chocolates and people would bring us food when we worked on the holidays and um, big tippers on holidays that would come in and know that we're working and then just like the everyday folks, there was always this group of kind of retired old men in our city and it was about, I don't know, three to five of them that would come in every morning at open. And we all knew their drinks, and they would just sit around and talk all morning. But one of them, John, was super nice, and he knew I was in x-ray school, and that I loved surgery. And he'd always be like, do you see any cool surgeries lately? And then he'd let me tell him about the knee replacement I got to watch, or the whatever. And he's like, oh, that's so great. I'm so happy for you. Like, the good ones are there. They're just not as fun to tell stories about. Good morning, Quirky! <laughs> Love my second story. Oh my god, Cam, but it brought me to my husband. I met my husband at Starbucks too. We both worked at Starbucks. That's so funny. I had one co worker that literally told new people she didn't like them until they earned it. That's really funny. That sounds like something I would have said in my 20s. I got the wrong tool out. Old men that meet up for coffee is my future aspiration. Yes, I hear that the that's a common thing in many places. The guys that just meet up and have coffee in the morning. So my future husband is at Starbucks, maybe. You never know. A five year Starbucks Rista also got the black apron. Yes, I had the black apron too. <laughs> yeah. You know, divvying up the empire. That's what they do in the morning. Of course, I'm single. I don't drink coffee. It all makes sense now. You know, I didn't drink coffee when I started working there. I hardly drink it anymore. Love in a hopeless place because it's a playlist that played when we worked there. That's really funny. Oh, quirky, I feel that. I used to be so snobby about coffee. And now I'm snobby about radiology. 
give up fishing so I my shift. Yeah, I um, met the man-child who destroyed me. It's a customer. I wrote my number on his cup. Smooth like that, you know? So... Yeah, I met my husband at Starbucks, the friend who officiated our wedding, my husband went to college with him, but he also worked at Starbucks with us. Um, half our wedding party, I, or our wedding was Starbucks people that we had met. <laughs> it's a, it's not a bad little community to be part of. Yeah. Unfortunately, you don't have to ID for coffee, right? Brewster connected many lives, right? Look at me and Coco. <laughs> so this is Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is the newest Animal Crossing. Um, but they haven't updated it in a while. Yeah, just go start hanging out up there. Coco drinking Coco. <laughs> So you have to be at least a three star to get Brewster and Blathers is the one that starts the quest. So you have to donate stuff to your museum, um, at least one real thing to every part of your museum. And then Blathers will have like a little thought bubble above his head. And when you talk to him, he'll tell you to go find his friend Brewster. Kelsey Winters, thank you for the follow. I felt awful. I'm like, she was talking about college. I thought she was older. Yeah. Mm. But what can you do? Okay, let's go drop some of this stuff off and then we'll go run to the other islands. Uh oh, Silvana. Why the thought bubble? I'm not gonna come hang out at your house. No. Absolutely not. Julie Love, thank you for the follow. And Maddie, thank you for the follow. If you talk to Isabel, she will give you an island eval, like that's what the selection says. It'll say, what's my island eval? And she'll tell you the star rating and what you can do to change your star rating. <laughs> Good morning, do money trees respawn? Just once for the money trees. Excuse me, I'm very tired. I should put that extra net away. So the home storage, you have to start expanding after you have upgraded your home completely, and then you just keep talking to Tom Nook, and um, keep paying him for the privilege of expanding your home storage. You know how Tom Nook do. Made margaritas. <laughs> I love that. That's really funny. That sounds like some crap that would have happened at my Starbucks back in the day. <laughs> Oh, did someone ask about the storage shed? Fully upgrade your home and upgrade your home storage to at least 2,400 slots. Defeat Tom Nook. Oops. I never did that. 
That doesn't mean I didn't have adult bevs. Crappy hour. Ugh. God. I just got like goosebumps thinking about that. Man. It's gonna be a long day today. <laughs> That's true. Ugh, the unicorn frappuccino. What a nightmare. Oh my gosh, I can't stop yawning. <laughs> How's your sister in her wedding planning? I actually need to text her. Um, I'm ready to go to Los Angeles. going in a few weeks so for dress picking I'm ready god I'm so sorry <laughs> oh my gosh is this that pink alligator somebody was talking about earlier She's chilling in my restaurant. I had vacation plans with me, but nature gave me the finger. Hi, good morning. Yeah, I'm going to Los Angeles. Um, the 22nd of September through the 25th, just a few days. Yeah, my sister's getting married in April, and we're going to help her dress shop. Like, specifically, that's all we're doing. She's made a ton of appointments. Um, my sister lives in Los Angeles. My mom lives in the Dallas area, and I live in East Texas. And so I'm driving in to Dallas on Thursday, and then my mom and I are flying um, into Burbank the next day. And... Um, her, my sister's future mother-in-law is also flying in from wherever she lives. I want to say like Virginia, and we're all going dress shopping together. I need a fully grown cherry tree to finally restart my island. Can you help? I'm looking forever. My island is not open today. I haven't picked out my September visiting day yet, and I said I was going to do that. Um, good morning, Valerie. But I guess if we find the dress on Saturday, then we can chill on Sunday. It's a couple hours. I guess if it's 7.50 here, it's 5.50 there. So not too bad. Not like when we went to India or Japan. Those were some time changes. Oh, it's Tuesday. I was going to go to the hospital, but it's a Tuesday, not Monday. Joan's not there. You're up early today? Yeah, it's about my normal time for morning streaming. It just feels early because I was up so late last night. I'll tell you that. These coast is three hours difference, yeah. Just repurchased a copy of Animal Crossing last week after trading it in August of 2020. Very nice. I like the physical copies of games. I'm not one to buy a digital copy unless I absolutely have to. So I get that. But if you have a digital copy of Animal Crossing and you have multiple switches, then you can easily have multiple islands and just switch the cartridge from switch to switch.
can no longer do digital even after the new Zelda. I just like to have a physical copy. I don't know. Maybe it's just the old school gamer in me. Get my safe house of all my villagers. You're smart. My dad buys physical copies too. Oh my gosh. Yep. Exactly, the game is big, so you, yeah, you, like you fill up all your storage space with all the digital stuff. I just stare at <laughs> At that point, it's like, yeah, I'm probably the same age as your dad at this point. Let's see what's in the shop. Oh my gosh! Ooh. Is this like a game show podium? I think that's exactly what it is. Oh yeah, I was really close. Game show stand in early adulthood and you still only buy physical. <laughs> okay. I mean, I bought the digital copy of Hogwarts just because the Xbox is the digital only one. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons, but I'm on the Happy Home Paradise Island. Well, and plus, like, don't you, like, technically not own the digital copies and they can, like, just take them away from you whenever they feel like? Like, you'll have to come and pry these physical copies out of my cold, dead hands. So, <laughs> even though you pay for them, you technically don't own them. It's like, my husband and I have a ton of DVDs. Nobody has DVDs anymore. Um, but, it's come in handy when our internet's gone out and everybody else is like, I can't stream anything. I'm like, I have a literal rack that I bought from Hastings. Fake. Ooh, I think this is real. Um, the expansion is worth getting. Right, because aren't his eyebrows like crazy, like sad face the other way? When it's fake. The fake scary painting has comically sad eyebrows. A haunted version exists where the man is smiling. Yeah, this is real. <laughs> You're fake. You're trying to sell me your fake crap. This is real though. We'll buy it. We also have DVDs of a toddler. She has a card. See, there you go. I even worked at Hastings briefly. I loved Hastings. That one's fake because it has antenna. And if y'all would like to download my lists, they are free to download. They are linked in my link tree. Guess who's going to go on a vacation in September? This guy. We're going to get Cornimer. Yeah, so the racks that Hastings used to have the DVD d DVDs on that would hang on the wall, like the rentals, the wire racks, I bought one of those when Hastings went out of business for super cheap, and it's what I keep all my DVDs on. And then my husband has <clears throat> a big, like, bookshelf he bought when a bookstore went out of, out of town, out of sale, out of business. Words. Where have you been, been checking your lives every morning? Yeah, my schedule is kind of in flux right now. I posted a... <clears throat> excuse me. I posted a general schedule for the week in my announcements page on my Discord because my schedule keeps changing and is in flux. So... That's all. Life, you know. Cornmer is just him with a mask, is it? Or is Tortimer the one with the mask? Yeah. 
This is the back of Harv's Island. I know, we are getting some new critters in a couple days. And the southern hemisphere is actually going to get some new stuff. So, yay. They're finally coming out of winter as we go into fall. Yeah, if y'all are in my Discord, I won't ever, like, at everybody for my announcements. I don't like... I don't like tagging everybody in posts except when I go live. I really try not to, unless it's something important. But, um... I did post in there for this week, like, no stream Monday, morning stream Animal Crossing today and tomorrow... No morning stream on Thursday. Oh, actually, I can stream on Friday now. So. Even though I don't often, like, tag everyone in those posts, it's a good idea to go look there. Yeah, coin armor tags in to help Tortimer out. That's what we'll say. I'm getting set up for my next opening day. I open my island up once a month and have people come and take stuff, so when I buy stuff like that or whatever, it's usually for leaving out. Okay, don't need that or that. Yeah, it's fun. Um, do it once a month, usually on a weekend. And my subscribers get priority access. They get to come first. And then the members of my Discord get to come next. And then I open it up to general TikTok viewers. So um, if you're ever interested, that's kind of how it works. There's a bunch of info in my Discord about it and usually how it goes and that kind of thing. So um, the link to that can be found in my link tree and you might have to copy paste it into a browser, but it's there. I have to pick out the weekend for September, but I have to pick out the weekend that, like, I'm not on call, I'm not going to Los Angeles, there's not some other Animal Crossing event going on, um, that kind of thing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your post. I've been a sad puppy opening and closing the TikTok waiting for you to stream. Yeah, I usually don't post a schedule, per se, because everything's been pretty routine, but with me switching to 12-hour rotating shifts, it's going to change things. So I'm going to try to at least give y'all a generalized schedule so you know which day. Another Moss and Vine Island. We just were on one of these. Uh, that way y'all know which day to look for it or not. Plus this week I'm doing, because I'm on eights this week, I'm doing morning workouts twice this week instead of trying to rush down to get the, to them after work. Because I get off work at six, but it's not always on time because that's just how the medical field works. And then the latest Pilates classes start at 6.30 and it's kind of like on the other side of town from where I work. And I did it last week, two weeks ago. And really had to kind of rush to make it on time, and I don't like feeling rushed, like I'm going to be late. So, hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? 
I'm tired, but good. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I get that. User, thank you for the follow. Yeah, once I hit 20,000 followers, which we are 289 away from that, there's going to be some giveaways in my Discord. Giveaways multiple. A couple big ones, a couple little ones. I just got a brand new nano controller that's going to be one of the giveaways. Sitting right over there. I finally was able to find one. So that's going to be one of them. But that's going to be a Discord only giveaway. Oh, the giraffe stag. I get a lot of questions about that one, and it's ex it's coming up at the end of its month. And then the end of the month, it won't be available anymore. Um, go to a mystery island. Generally, the mystery islands you go to are going to be in the same time of year as your island. Not always, but generally. And chop everything down except for like a couple palm trees. Break the rocks, pull up the bushes, destroy the flowers, all of that. And um, that way it kind of forces the stuff to spawn that spawns on coconut trees, which is the giraffe stag. It also helps if you do it after 11 p.m., because a lot of the daytime bugs, or like afternoon bugs, stop spawning after 11, and so it will increase the odds of the giraffe stag spawning because it's an evening to nighttime bug. Caught every bug on my island. The oh, the scarab, yeah. I brought like six of my own palm trees too. Stuck on yeah, the golden stag. Good morning. All is okay. I think someone asked why I dig the holes. To prevent recoil so you can get all eight items out of the rock. Can't you play with your switch plugged in? Currently working on your third island, nice. Man, a lot of y'all are in the hurricane. Be safe. Good morning. Mason has not popped in. Mason's got a lot going on. He might be asleep. Or other places. trash you put out you still haven't generated a fly it's hard to make suggestions for that one I mean I do have a video about catching a fly because it literally took me like one day after putting garbage out I think people don't realize how small they are and if you're anything like me I run around my island and that will scare them off like any other bug but they're so teeny you may not even see Inside it's like four. Oh my goodness. Makes me feel very old. It still spawns on cut tree. There are five, four or five bugs that appear on tree stumps, so you should have a couple tree stumps on your island just so you can have those bugs spawn. But it won't be like the giraffe stag and that on the palm trees. 
Oh, you have the Hello Kitty amiibos and you're trying to get them in. Okay. The jewel beetle. Yeah, if they're on a tree stump, then they'll, they'll spawn on the tree stump. I can't remember where that one appears exactly. The vine and moss go together typically, and this is this is a mystery island. So I think I found my first glowing moss and vines on a mystery island like this one. You just take them with you. And then if you have the Happy Home Paradise DLC, there's glowing moss and vines that grow out there that you can pick and they regenerate. So you can pick them and then a couple days later a whole bunch more will regenerate it, that kind of thing. So you can go out there and have a continuous, it's just, it's small and slow to regenerate, but a continuous supply. Yes, the vines and moss do on the DLC. There's a lot more, like, daily stuff to go out on the, and do on the DLC than I think people realize. I did make a video about it and the stuff you can do out there besides just decorating homes. Can't jump across, can't jump across. Oh, can right there. Just expanded my hospital. Nice. The DLC is fun. I recommend it, especially if you're just kind of bored with Animal Crossing. It adds a new aspect to the game. expanded my hospital yet. I just got the ability to add the gallery to the cafe, but I haven't done that yet. Oh, Tom Nook. Yeah, I think it's a gallery that you can add to the cafe. I don't know. I think that's what they said after I decorated like my 30 something house. Connect your switch to the television. You need an HDMI. Are you asking about streaming or just in general? Like the switch should have an HDMI port that you connect to your television, unless you have a light and those don't connect to your TV. Yeah, on the regular Switch, it's just like in the dock, and on the back there's an HDMI cable, then you just plug it in there, easy squeezy. Did I pick up that bottle? I did. Okay. <sighs> Vine lamp. I already know this one. Oh, Marley. Good luck. Ugh. <laughs> I totally jinxed my coworkers 
when I went on the cruise in April, I was like, we were due. And I was like, I hope Joint Commission comes while I'm gone. And sure enough, they showed up the whole week I was on a cruise ship. It was amazing. Yeah, getting the DIYs is frustrating. I'm missing not a whole lot, but they're supposed to come by the end of August. Oh, yeah. Can't get the third star? What does Isabel say? Hi, good morning. Welcome, welcome to Animal Crossing TikTok. Oh, I, I go hide in surgery when they come around. I used to. I was on that. Heck yeah. So you're safe from Great Commission at night. Thank you. I'm feeling sleepy today, so we're going up in a bun. As a five star for a week and then dropped a four. Like, what do you mean I have too much stuff laying around? Do you have stuff that's like dropped and not placed? Like, I know that's what I get dinged for on my island is because I leave all that stuff out for my visiting days. And so that drops my island rating. weeds or branches or anything. Oop, I went right by that, didn't I? Oh, man. I wish there was more of that. Y'all, I started re-watching Grey's Anatomy. Those first seasons are so good. And I... I haven't watched the first seasons in a very long time. And like, Denny just showed up and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Only place laying around items for my picnic areas. I guess they don't like it. Yeah, I guess not. Chrissy, thank you for the follow. I step away. Did you catch the isopod? So, not just now, but I did end up catching a second one of these the other day when I was playing off stream and I was able to donate it. Yeah, these aren't in in time just yet. It is hard sometimes to watch medical shows and be like, it just looks very sideways. <laughs> the arm isn't draped. When you place them, they look like they're coming out of the bucket at you? Really? That's horrifying. I wish I had one to put out so we could check it out. Oh yeah, when they give terrible CPR. <sighs> so good. How many more spots do we have to fill? Seven. I'm trying to be better about swimming in the sea. I also really need, I don't even know which sea creatures I'm missing. I am the list maker and I don't even know. I hate swimming. Like regular trees and not cedar. Um, <clears throat> if you leave your money trees up, 
after they produce the money once, they'll be, they'll just be hardwood trees after that. Diving is time consuming. It's just tedious. There should be trees for sale at Nobs. Also that. Ooh, a star mystery island. So fun. Love those star mystery islands. Have you played today and gotten them, your star fragments off your beach? Hi, good morning. and chop them down. Oh my gosh. Chow main, thank you for the heart me. You finally got Animal Crossing? Welcome to the gang. Oh, you know, I don't know if Leaf sells those. That's a really good question, though. I learned that you may place the horseshoe crab beside the spider crab and the snapping turtle. Yeah, there's some of those critters that just, like, stand on the land, and it's so weird. I think spider crabs are coming back in season in September for the Northern Hemisphere. A snapping turtle. One more. Hi, good morning. September's your birthday. Very nice. The Animal Crossing villager birthdays will be posted on the 31st since there's a September 1st birthday. I like to post it so we at least know. Yeah, my sister's is in September. Also, my kidney's birthday is in September. Okay, that's as full as our pockets can get. Let's head back. So do y'all know who your Animal Crossing birthday twins are? Besides Carlos? I like Lucky a lot. He's pretty cool. Yeah, my sister's is the 11th. I can't listen to Captain Song. I can't. Yeah, press B repeatedly, and then he'll stop his song. Skip it. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry. I just... I, I'm so tired. This is going to be a really long day. He does get sassy when you ruin his song, but then you. Just, but it's cool. You don't have to sit through it. Tom the cat. I was like, oh my god, Tom Nook. Oh no, I do not feel bad when I skip his song. I'm like, anybody got time for this cat? And I got stuff to do on my island. Oh, Poppy's a good one. Who doesn't love Poppy? What characters do I have on my island? Let me just show y'all my map and y'all can see who's on here. There we go. Oh my goodness. 
Last time I checked, I had 750 hours. I haven't looked in a bit. It's all on this island because I've never restarted. Daisy. Daisy sweet. Rachel, thank you for the follow. Lucky and Coco too. Coco was a chat choice. Like I was swapping out villagers and I usually will draw like three amiibos out of my pile of amiibos. We haven't found a crafting villager yet, have we? And let y'all choose. Maybe it's here now. Muffy's on there. Muffy's on there. Oh my god! <sighs> No? Look at your little glasses perched so high up on your nose. You can't get rid of Muff Muffy. Yeah, I'm here for a little bit longer. Ugh, I just had a really, really long day yesterday and got called in last night and just whooped. Muffy is Carlos' girlfriend. On this island, for sure. Snooty, my anteater left. Yuka came to my camp randomly. Connect your... Tender switch to TV, because this is not helping me. Um... Do you have a, a light? I didn't think the, the lights could be hooked up to the television. I thought they were handheld only. But the regular one should just sit in its dock with an HDMI cable. Everyone's so studious today with their glasses on. Anything interesting happened? No. Timmy and Tommy, that's cute. Gyroid. Although I'm pretty sure I don't have my watering can out. Watering can in my slingshot. My twin is Molly. I love her. Nice. I can't remember who mine is, but I remember thinking like, oh. Sorted. <laughs> Chow is my birthday twin. I don't know who that is. Yeah, I have to Google them. Let me see. Oh, meringue, very popular one. <laughs> I 
Mine is Candy. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's a little mouse. Ugh, the snow in this game does seem to last forever. <laughs> I think you have your birthday twin loving, living on your island. I'm excited for fall as well. It's gonna be good. Oh my god. Man. Get all systems. Get three days. That's a lot of systems. Yeah, I um, need an extra VA. I need an extra like six hours of sleep. I'll probably have a cup of coffee today. Winter feels like forever. I believe it is like three months. Oop. Do I have any money to bury? I sure do. Let's bury the perfect amount. Look at everybody just chilling at the square today. Don't run away from me! Don't run away from my love! How to restart this game? I think you just have to go delete all the data off your, like, switch. But I don't really know because I've never restarted. Are you very particular about anything in particular? <laughs> Don't lend me your mixing bowls. What else do we need to do today? changed my outfit. My music is Zelda's lullaby. As a matter of fact. You have a good day too. We're just about done for the day anyway. No, it is my music is specifically is Zelda's lullaby. How what? Which in general switches 4K next system hookup doesn't look right. I think the switch is fine. I don't want every game system to be the same. I appreciate that like they didn't put streaming services on here and that kind of thing. Like, it's just a game system. It just needs to play games. You can stream on literally everything else. 
You can change your town tune. It's probably an Isabel question. And, um... You can Google, like, how to make songs so you know which buttons to push and how to push them. And that's how I did it. People still play this game? Heck yeah, people still play this game. I like the OLED. I, I have- this is the original Switch I'm playing on. Like, the OG. And, um... I got the Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition OLED, but I bought my husband an OLED for his 40th birthday last year, and it looks really nice, I must say. just runs my older switch just runs so slow sometimes I need to clean it up its memory a little bit or something um, mine's still running pretty smoothly but I know everybody's different the tears of the kingdom switch is beautiful I wish I put a lot of hope into the fact that I would love that game and I don't and that makes me a little sad so um, maybe I'll feel different about it later yeah, the Joy- Joy-Cons suck in general, though. That's not a original Switch thing. That's why I use the Nano controller. It's built like a pro, but it's small like the Joy-Con, so it's good for small hands. And, um, I really, really like it. What don't you like about it? It is- it's tedious, and it makes me feel stupid. Like, the storyline is very, very good. But, so, I feel like I'm such in the minority about it. I really, really struggled to understand the new abilities and got into the game, enjoyed, like, the Fire Temple is terrible, but the boss is really fun, and, um... The water temple didn't even take place in the water. Um, there's things about it I really like. It's I, it's not better than Breath of the Wild, in my opinion. And a lot of people are like, it took everything that was good about Breath of the Wild and made it better. Breath of the Wild was just a jumping off point. I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. And um, so... Then I kind of got into it and was enjoying it, and then I had to quit playing for a few weeks because I had hand surgery, and when I came back to it, I was on the Maneru quest, and that was it for me. That quest pissed me off to no end. I, I want my games to be a challenge, but this feels impossible. And I don't like getting destroyed by a boss and then coming up and just getting whooped and whooped and whooped and like nothing I do and no way I play it. I can't, I can't beat it. And, um, it, it shouldn't be impossible. I don't want it to be easy, but my God, like it shouldn't make me want to quit the game and never pick it back up. It's so frustrating and so tedious that I put it down and I have not beat the game. And, um, yeah, I'm not into that. So, I do want to go back and it, finish it just for completion's sake, but I need a break. I don't... And then it makes me feel like... Bad because I've loved Zelda since Ocarina and I feel like I should like this game and I just don't. I just don't. So I also like Breath of the Wild more. Like 
I miss Rivali's Gale. Ascend is cool. Um, everything is so dependent on building and all that stuff. It's just, it's just annoying. So I know it's just, so I've been playing Ocarina again and being like, Hey, remember like, this is why you love this. So anywho, I gotta go. I gotta get ready for work. But, um, Oh, I might play Ocarina tonight. We're on the Water Temple. We just did the Bigger on Sword quest the other day. And um, it's Water Temple time. Depending on how exhausted I am when I get home from work, we might try to tackle the Water Temple tonight. I do not play Dreamlight Valley. Check out my Discord. I post in my announcements thread about my schedule. Um, thank you all for being here, for all the new followers. Everything you need to know about me can be found in my link tree, social media, my lists, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, just check out the Discord. If the link doesn't work, try copying, pasting it into a browser. Sometimes the direct link doesn't work. But um, I will be streaming Animal Crossing again tomorrow morning. 7 o'clock Central Time is my general start time. So I will see y'all in the morning for some more Animal Crossing. And I hope everybody has a good day.